All right, this is a video demo of the Space Pilot from 3D Connection. It also goes over many of the same features you can do with the Space Navigator and other 3D mice. First, here's how you hold the controller cap. You don't really have to move it very far, and you only really need a light amount of pressure to navigate around. Now, let's enable Dominant Mode. This restricts movement to only the strongest axis you use. You can also enable this in the settings. In Google Earth, when you move the controller cap to the right, it pans right. When you move it up, it pans up. When you press down, it zooms down. When you tilt, it tilts. When you rotate, it rotates. Think of the cap as the object, as the part, just like as if it was actually in your hands. Okay, let's take off the training wheels. Let's turn off dominant mode and increase the movement speed. If you notice, since we turned off dominant mode, we can move around using multiple axes at the same time. And since we increased our movement speed, we can get around quickly. So let's glide into San Francisco in one continuous motion. Now we're coming up on the Oakland Bay Bridge. And here we are, San Francisco. Now say we want to lock an axis out completely. Well, we can do that in the settings or with a programmable button. In this case, I set function button number 2 to lock rotations. This gives us a lot of control over exactly how we want to move in a 3D space. Now let's switch over to Blender. The biggest difference you'll see with a 3D mouse is the navigation. With just a normal mouse, everything is jerky and it stutters around and you often have to click multiple times to get to where you want to go. But when you start using a 3D mouse like the Space Pilot, it glides around with super fluid, clean motion that you can just go anywhere with. And if you're doing a quick one over on your model, you can just select any vertex on it and hit this button called fit and I'll zoom right in and you can examine, see if there's any problem areas, you know, and really inspect every single point. And with the view keys, you can select the top face, left, front, right, any face of your model and just go right to it. The largest productivity increase comes into play when you dual wield a normal mouse with a 3D mouse. I first hit front face, then I hit fit to zoom in tight. Then I go into sculpt mode and turn on X symmetry with my normal mouse. After that I use the function buttons on the space pilot to change the radius inside of the keyboard. Instead of having to change position constantly with the mouse, I'm doing all the 3D navigation with the space pilot. So I finish up the eyes, maybe add a nose, then duck down under the nose to add in some nostrils and little details. As you can see, you can really inspect the model from different angles and really get a good perspective of what you're sculpting. You can also quickly jump to a different face with the view keys. So now I can add some big ears to this guy. Hey, might as well prepare to add some horns too. I'm using the modifier keys along with the programmable buttons to change the strength, which is a neat trick I like to do since it's very versatile because you don't have to program in a bunch of key combos for everything. Now let's add in a few extra details. It's really easy to move around the model and add details everywhere with the 3D mouse doing the navigation. I think I'll add a faux hawk of horns and add some more interest points. You can also do a lot of interesting new techniques and make a lot of intricate details that would otherwise be impossible or a huge pain to do with just a normal mouse. Like now how I'm sculpting as I orbit completely around the model. Plus, you can program complex key combinations instead of having to remember some obscure keyboard combo. For instance, this quad view mode, which would normally be Control-Alt-Q, is now just one button press. That sums up most of the functions you can use with the 3D mouse. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you're interested in your own 3D mouse, you can learn more at 3dconnection.com.